So in the TF series, we have a quick config for the outputs as well as we did for the inputs. Um, on each of the stage boxes, you always had stereo left and right in the configuration. And then of course your first box had aux one through six, and then your second box had uh, aux seven through 12, and the other auxes were on your last box, your box number three. So that worked out great. Uh, and was just fine for most everybody until we started adding buses. And then we added a subwoofer bus, and we've added since four matrices. So these other outputs can all be patched up there too. So we want to show you how to take it out of its quick config mode and change those output patches. And as a bonus on this one, we should be able to show you how to, it'll always be this way when you patch it so that when, once you make this change, it'll always fire right back up just the way you had it patched. So you don't have to worry about using your computer every time. So for this one, I'm just gonna turn quick and fig off on all of them. I'm gonna wait and notice that there's no change until we power cycle. So I expand the network so I can see it. I scroll down to where the outputs are because they're in high numbers. And here they are, and I'm patching to the sub. And when it turns green, we're done. So now that you've made your changes, you'll just need to go back to the dip switches on the back of the 1608 and put dip switch number seven down on each unit to put it in resume mode, which means it will always come back at the same setting that you're gonna leave it on right now. All you need to do now is power cycle and you're good to go. So now that you've seen how to patch all your outputs using Dante Controller in this TF system, you can see how simple it is for you to get all of your patching wherever you need it, up on that stage or back at your console. Uh, we have plenty of more materials for you. Anything that to, to support this uh, can be seen at usa.yamaha.com under the TF page. And uh, good luck with it.